Now, your I Think Financial Sports Desk from WPTV and ESPN 1063. Good evening, my friends, and welcome to the I Think Financial Sports Desk. Sorry, Smith from ESPN 1063. While the FAU game, you know, that's what it's all about. That was what everything was leading up to that main event, which right now they're down 51-44 to Memphis. There was still so much going on leading up to it, and that's what my partner in crime and our Theo Dorsey has more on, Theo. Is this still downtown Columbus or Boca Raton North? Isles fans painted the capital of Ohio a triumphant shade of red and blue, all ahead of what they hope will be a historic victory for nine seed FAU over eight seed Memphis in the opening round of the NCAA tournament. They're playing really well. Nobody's selfish. There, there's, there's no like real standout. Everybody stands out together, and you can see them being excited for each other while they're playing. It's really incredible and inspirational to watch, and we're, we're really lucky and fortunate to be a part of you know, something special. March Madness is huge. While tonight would be the program's first ever March Madness win, this isn't the school's first trip. Antoine Stevens was on the 2002 team, the only other FAU squad to ever go dancing. And 21 years later, he made the trip to see if this team could do what his didn't. Watching those guys playing, the energy that we have, especially on defense, and which is one of my main things, I think we're going to pull it off. I mean, as long as they, as long as they stay focused and look like they, they seem like they've been here before, the way they play and the, the chemistry that they have and talking to them, I talked to a couple of them, they seem like they've been here before. So that made me feel like, man, y'all... Y'all got a real good chance. With the last tip off of the evening at Nationwide Arena, Owls fans had a day packed with anticipation and celebration. That includes the grandparents of Palm Beach Lakes alum Giancarlo Rosado, who were elated to see the FAU forward play on the biggest stage he's ever suited up for. When he walks out there, I want him to remember how it feels to step out there, what he did to get there. Because this is not something that just happened over a year or two, this years of training and sacrifice. I want him to remember every moment and to know that his family is here. An action-packed Sunday in Boca North. Will the party continue through the weekend? We'll see. In downtown Columbus, Theo Dorsey for ESPN 106.3.